in May of 2005, a person using the handle Marine Sniper entered a chat room for teenagers on the website pogo.com. After chatting for a while, a user with the handle Tall Hot Blonde sent him a private message. They exchanged several messages back and forth and both told each other that they were 18 years old. They shared personal information with each other and started to flirt. Marine Sniper said that his name was Tommy and that he was in the Marines. Marine Sniper lived in Buffalo, New York. Tall Hot Blonde said that her name was Jessie and that she lived in West Virginia. They also shared pictures with each other. Most of the pictures that Jessie shared were very revealing. The relationship continued for about a year. They talked on the phone and sent each other gifts through the mail, but they never physically met in person. Then, in May of 2006, the relationship started to fizzle. It turned out that Marine Sniper wasn't who he claimed to be. He was actually a 47-year-old machinist named Thomas Montgomery. He did serve in the Marines, but that was decades prior. The pictures of himself that he had sent Jesse were 30 years old. He was also married with two daughters. One of his daughters was using his laptop when an instant message popped up from Tall Hot Blonde. She informed her mother about it. Montgomery's wife then did a little detective work of her own, and that is when she found emails, love letters, and gifts from Jesse. Montgomery's wife then sent a picture of her family and a letter to Jesse explaining the truth that Tommy is a 47 year old married father of two. Jesse was mortified when she learned this news. Some of Thomas's co-workers chatted on Pogo, so Jesse asked one of his co-workers if the information in the letter was true. The co-worker's name was Brian Barrett. He used the handle Beefcake. He did confirm that this information was true. Brian and Jesse started the chat back and forth, which led to them beginning an online relationship of their own. They also started to badmouth Montgomery online, telling everyone that he was a liar and a pedophile. Jesse also started to taunt and tease Montgomery in private messages. Then, for a short period of time, she went back to being Montgomery's online girlfriend. But that did not last long because she had told him that she would rather be with Barrett. In the fall of 2006, Barrett planned on meeting Jesse in person, something that Montgomery never got to do. When Montgomery overheard Barrett talking about the planned meeting at work to co-workers, he became furious and full of rage. However, what Montgomery didn't know was that Jesse had texted Barrett and told him that she was unable to meet. On September 15, 2006, Barrett was found dead in his vehicle inside of the parking lot where he and Montgomery worked. He was shot three times with a marine rifle. 
some of Brian and Thomas's co-workers knew about the online love triangle. They decided to go to the police with this information. Detectives then went to Montgomery's home, but he was not there. They thought that he may have been headed to Jessie's home to kill her, so the local police were sent to her home. That is when the police learned that Jessie is not who she says she is online either. She was a 45-year-old housewife and mother named Mary Shiler. The photos that she shared and used as her tall, hot, blonde identity were of her daughter. Her daughter was unaware of the revealing photos that were taken as Mary often took the pictures secretly while her daughter was lifeguarding at the local pool or getting into the car while showing an unintended flash of skin. She even mailed Montgomery a pair of her daughter's panties. Police were able to eventually track down Montgomery and he was arrested. He was convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison. He pled guilty for a reduced charge of first degree manslaughter. The police also felt that Shiler was responsible in some way and wanted to charge her, but they couldn't because she didn't break any laws. So, this story ends with one young man dead, one in prison, and a mother who was never charged with a crime. Thank you for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to click the subscribe button below so that you will be notified of my next one. See you in the next video.